check out the new Oregon Yellow Star Line string. This is a star-shaped polyester monofilament string which is supposed to be exceptionally good on grass like you can see here. It is a benchmark product and it comes in sets of 15 meters which is exceptionally good in those oversized frames with dense string patterns. Now I can honestly say that this string is a nightmare to string because it's so soft, it stretches so much and you really have to string it at low tensions or you won't be able to pull them enough I'm stringing it at uh, 20 kilos and another issue I have is this it's just uh, constantly getting messed up and stuff like that I've strung up the Oregon Yellow Star Line string in my Yonex E-Zone 98 rack the final specifications of this racket strung up with the Oregon Yellow Star Line were 345 grams and the balance of 31.5 centimeters and the swing weight of around 330. The tension that I used was 20 kilos both on the mains and the crosses like I mentioned before. Now my first impression of this string was that it's super powerful and easy to play with. At first I was actually afraid of hitting out at the ball with full racket head speed because of the amount of power that this string packs. Eventually I got used to it and I was able to unlock more of its spin potential and I was able to control the ball more and that's when I was really able to hit some crazy fast and powerful shots. Thanks to the string's star shaped design it's got really great spin potential and I really noticed that the string really grabbed the ball well. Unfortunately all that grip on the ball wasn't that good for the balls themselves as the fluff got torn off them really fast by the string gripping so hard on the balls. Because of this string in the future I'm really thinking about including the ball duration in my string reviews and not only the durability and tension maintenance and so on about the strings but also how the strings affect the playability durations of the ball. I was really lazy at this hitting session with the string but that's fine because the string did everything for me. All I really had to do was just tap the ball and it flew over the net and deep into the court of my opponent. Unfortunately all that power and spin and so on doesn't pair up well with control. The string wasn't really predictable and big on control, but that's fine. It was okay when I really wanted to spin and blast the ball, but sometimes I didn't really know when the ball is going to land. The touch and feel department was also lacking with this string, but what I really liked this string for was its string movement. The string really moved a lot during the heating and it regularly moved out of its place a lot like you can see here and I really thought that was uh, an outstanding feature of this string. My very beautiful and extremely talented female playtester was also on this playtest. She got to try out the Oregon Yellow Star Line string in her trusty head flex point instinct oversized racket and the power was really overwhelming for her so like you can see in this video she was just tapping the ball around because the fear of overheating was too much. I would only recommend this string to experienced or professional players that have a lot of experience with controlling all that power and spin from the string like this. I personally really enjoyed using the Oregon Yellow Starline string and I would really recommend it for anyone who is eager to try out something new and something different from everything else on the market. Also make sure to recommend this video and this string to your friends who you might think would enjoy this string. That's it for the review of the Oregon Yellow Starline string.
Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this kind of content, consider subscribing to Impacting Things.